So we are on our way to Buena Vista. Anyway, St. Elmo, first stop on our three day trip. We're gonna be going around all of that snow, hopefully. I do not like the cold. Two nights of camping, three days of exploring and off-roading. We should be able to hit four ghost towns, so we'll see how that goes. It's looking like St. Elmo, 10 Cup, and then there's another one, Ashcroft Ghost Town, and then Independence. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get some good footage, shoot some guns, eat some food, do a little exploring. Getting some ice loaded up right now, so should be a fun adventure. I'll try and keep the footage to a minimum, just the exciting stuff. Uh, obviously the ghost towns, and if we get into any kind of trouble or get stuck, enjoy the show. So that ridge over there is where we're headed. That is the Continental Divide, meaning all the water that falls on this side of that ridge goes to the Mississippi, and everything that falls on the other side of that ridge goes into the Colorado and to the Pacific. That literally splits the country in half. Elmo.
here we are. It looks like this place is no joke. Literally, like they fucking packed up and just left town. I don't know how well you can see in there, but everything's still here. Pots and pans, windows, curtains. They literally just loaded up and left. That is crazy. Church, church still has the bell in the tower. This town could just vanish. It's crazy. I'm gonna check out the rest of these and then I'll head my way down there. Private residence. It's weird. Well, outhouse. This is like a literal sidewalk. It's crazy. Can't get in there. Absolutely crazy. Huh. Too cool. We came down. Pretty fucking neat. Yeah, it is. <sighs> There's nobody here at all. Still has the bell in the tower. Everything's still inside the houses. Well, that one's empty, but. Literally nothing here except tourists. May 5th. Damn it. Missed it by one day. Souvenir. I mean, yeah. Hey, they're open tomorrow. Hey, there's hummingbirds. Now, oh, rusty mail. That's cool. It's crazy. Let me just leave it 
Oh, shit. Well, the guy at the St. Elmo General Store says that uh, he doesn't think that 10 cup is passable. Not until like 4th of July or end of May, something like that. Um, and that Independence Pass is not only impassable, but it'll be gated off. Um, so we may not make it to Independence. We may not even make it to 10 Cup, but we're gonna try. So, here we are going up 10 Cup Pass. We just left St. Elmo. Pretty gnarly. All right, we are already hitting snow and we're at 10,270. I think we're gonna end up hitting almost 12,000 feet, so it's not looking good. Hopefully it gets warmer and we can get to stick. We'll see. Well, here's lunch for the day. Looks like 10 cup pass is uh, a little fucking deep. We went as far as we could. I think we're at 11,000 ish. Check the altimeter for me. But as you can see, my little ass is enough to sink this. Our Jeeps were completely bogged down. It's pretty deep. 10,000, 8, 10, 840. 10, 840. It's almost 11,000. The guy at the St. Elmo General Store that actually opens tomorrow um, because this is the first time they have been able to even get up this pass to St. Elmo, even though it's been a dry winter. Um, it's been pretty tough for them to make it up the pass, I guess, so we got some snow a couple days ago and I guess that completely flooded out 10 cup pass so doesn't look like we're gonna make it apparently that's the only way to get to Aspen other than the main highway and uh, Independence is actually gated off until we say the end of May May 31st something like that and then they plow it if it's still snowing which is crazy, because I guess that's like 11.4 up there, so. Came too early, couldn't wait, was too anxious. It's all right, we're having fun. Got out, the Jeeps are doing great. So now we can uh, probably eat lunch. There's a few trails to explore. We may try to go up a little further. I have a winch, so I'm not worried. But yeah, we'll eat some lunch, figure it out. We went as far as we could go towards Tin Cup. There's just still way too much snow that the 
pass is impassable. Just too early in the year. So we're headed back down right now. Going back to St. Elmo. Beautiful little trail ride. Good little lunch. Let's see where we end up next. Well, I wanted to see how much further up 10 cup I could get. It was about this far. So, yeah, she's a little stuck doing this right now. Well, thanks to some help from these guys with some extra straps to reach a tree, got it unstuck. Now we're back to exploring. Got the Wayne Wayne behind me. He got pretty stuck. We had to winch him out. It's a good time. Finally, an actual abandoned building that we can go into, maybe. Let's see here, notice. Enjoy, but do not destroy. All right. Do not dig, remove, enter, or destroy any historical priest or Fuck yeah, I can dig it. Holy shit. No way. That's fucking cool. Bet you can't guess what it is. What do you think? Um, There's big mounting plates here. Water comes in. I would have to say that Blows in, pushes a fucking wheel, and either turns grinding mill or Jenny. Probably mill originally. And you can see down there where the water went. Water and then you can yeah. Would this have had us like a sorter for um, gold sluice? No, I don't think it'd be a wash plant. Because, like I said, that right there is letting water come in through a look out the yeah. back window there. See how they've channeled all the drainage from all the rain will run into that. But then out here, look at this fucking construction, man. This is like. That's cement and everything. This isn't that old. You know what I mean? Look at that. Yeah, it's like they were using the water flow. There used to, obviously used to be a lot more water flow right there. And then, damn, this is all from fucking erosion. Yeah, it'd be like runoff. It'd be runoff from the hill, or maybe up the hill got diverted somewhere else. Finally, a building we could actually walk up to. That's cool.
complete bust. We got to do a good bit of off-roading. Saw some trails we've never been on. I believe we were on the other side of the Continental Divide, even if only for an hour. Um, first time for that. Same for Rusty. Uh, we're probably going to try this again in a month. Give everything a, a bit of time to thaw out and then uh, see if we can make it. So stay tuned for the next video. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to be notified as soon as it's uploaded. And as always, keep on modding.